I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. Today's modification is bar work. Something that I started doing a little while ago, probably about a year ago now, we started making sliders for the nav. And I really need some sliders because those sills are super exposed. So uh, we started making the sliders, myself and Sean. This is actually Shawnee's design here, which is super cool. Hey, Amy. And <laughs> so this is the driver's side one. It's got a bit of a kicker on the end. Need to add a cap onto it there on the end and need to make up some mounts to go onto the chassis. So I'm planning to do some traditional mounting styles, which is basically a U bracket, which goes from the bottom and mounts up with a bolt through the top holding it into place. So I'll have three points of mounting is the plan. And now I'll have some notched tube coming off the back of the slider to hold it into position. So well, I could probably go to about there. Joel's finally doing my shorter step. So basically what we're trying to achieve here is a step for Amy to be able to get into the car because at the moment she can't get into the car. She's vertically challenged. But what I'm trying to do is have it sit as close to the paneling as possible, but not too close where if it does copper hit and it flexes a little bit, it touches. So we want to avoid that. But basically this is about the position that I want it to be in. I want it to have a nice sort of kick up this way, maybe even a little bit tighter once it's finalized, more or less like that. And the back part is probably going to come up a little bit higher, especially towards the back here. There's a bit more of a gap, so that will have to kind of come up to be about there. I've just marked out a couple of locations along the slider where I think I'm going to make the mounts. Uh, the MP300 chassis is a pretty busy chassis. There's quite a bit going on. You can see there's a mark there for one of the mounts. And that one's pretty much central to the slider. And that one's further towards the back there. 262. 262 is the length of what? Is the length of the front left hand rock slider chassis mount. Okay, whatever you say. Safety first. Squinstickles. So up the front, this bracket will sit in there and it's got enough overhang up the top and the bottom is perfect. Moving up the back though, the chassis gets thicker and up the top right there, it doesn't have enough overhang. It's changed by about 10 mil. So I need to give it 10 mil extra up there. And the base is a little bit different as well because there's not a welded, um, welded plate on the chassis on this side so it's not spaced out as much so I need to take about 5 mil off that and that will then be the two back plates taken care of. There is these pipes on the top here that I was talking about so they're on some plastic clips that are just yeah literally just plastic clipped into the chassis so you literally just pull them up like that and they unclip and then they'll move around freely for your brackets and your bolts to go through. So this is the bracketry for the front mount. Now this, I've just cut this plate out on the saw. Basically that's the front plate, goes in the front of the chassis right there. And that's gonna get welded onto the base plate. Now I've also drilled some 12.5 millimeter holes in the top for the 12 millimeter bolt to go through. It's a pretty tight tolerance fit. Um, if I need to open those holes up a little bit more for the final fitment, I will. Basically what I'm going to do now is mock this up in the car to show you guys how it's all going to come together. And basically what I'm trying to achieve with all of these mounts because they're all going to be roughly similar, just different in length. So you can see the bolt is coming through the top there. This is the folded bracket round to the back with the bolt up the top there. Everything's really coming together with this first test bracket, but that's the idea of what I'm trying to achieve. And then from the actual rock slider itself, there'll be a notch tube coming off here and going back to that face plate there. So between these two, and it'll be welded into place with the gusset. And if I ever do go to say a different MP300, they are completely removable in the way that uh, they just bolt on. They're not a weld on plate onto the chassis, which you can do, 
nothing wrong with doing that a fish plate style um, in fact I actually toyed with the idea for a bit there I was considering doing a fish plate style where you weld the plate onto the chassis then they bolt through onto the plates like 10 mil thick you thread it sort of thing but yeah then it's basically made for that car and that car only unless you make some new fish plate bases for the next car but this way they can just bolt on and off really easily and they're still structurally sound I mean people have been making rock slides like this for a very very long time and once it's all bolted down in those positions even if you give it a hard knock it usually doesn't move and what I've done is I've made sure that the bolts on the top and the plate on the bottom are both going to be hard up against the chassis so really even if it does cop a big hit there's nowhere to move apart from the metal bending which with the right gusseting it shouldn't Is all of the chassis brackets now finished so I've just drilled all of the holes finished doing all that and then I've gone through and run a chamfering tool over the actual outside of the hole just to make sure I get all the burrs out of there you don't want any sharp edges now it's pretty much time to bolt these onto the chassis ensure the fitment's correct then I will start working on tacking them into place and also getting the slider position ready for those tube cross member braces to go between these and the rock slider once I've positioned the slider into place it's all coming together, slowly, slowly but surely. There's a lot of work that goes into bar work, guys. Heaps of work. Just everything's custom. That's why you pay so much for bar work, especially if it's Aussie made. It's a bit that goes into it, but it's going to be so worth it. Caffeinated beverages. This is my coffee. That is so good, I can't even explain. Mm. Thank you. I'm in the big leagues. Told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues Told him that I gotta go, dawg I'm riding a road, y'all I think that I'm back in my bag now So I need that go, y'all Got hits when he throwin' the fastball Just too quick for it Peelin' off like the whip orange Seen the effort, this piss poor I got too much, I gotta tend to Car payments and the rent due Told y'all that I'm six foot But with the money stabbing, I'm ten two. I think it looks okay. I'm starting to overthink it where I'm looking at it too much, but I reckon that is where it's going to sit. Almost forgot the door test. Ah! Just, we cleared? Yeah, it's enough clearance. Enough room to get your foot on as well. I think that is the position. So there's one there, one there, and one there. So then there's gonna be some tube which goes between these points, bit of tube, Tube gets welded onto this plate, gets notched onto the slider, and then everything's mounted. And then I do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. We are moving some cars out in the shop today to make way for the nav to come in, and we're gonna keep doing some slider stuff. I reckon we're gonna even try and get Amy on the welder today. What are you moving out, Amy? Is that like a Chevy, old Chevy truck? Apache. Oh, she knows what it is. Start it up. Give it a bit more. Oh. Bit of throttle. Oh! Pop it in reverse. One of our customers' cars here for initial inspection. Getting ready for its final engineering inspection. Get it certified and on the road. What a beast. wants me on the tools.
driver's side slider is on, fitment is tight, it's got a good kick on it, I'm really happy. So all of the mounts are tack welded up and some of them have got more welds and tacks just to try and keep everything structurally sound. I still have to cap the ends back here, that's no big deal. I'm keen as on that kick up the back that's protecting that rear panel. That is awesome, I'm loving it. The other side of the car, what we've got going on here, don't look at any of the bar work up the back, that's coming soon. <laughs> so this is the other slider that we've matched up to suit the first one that we made for the driver's side. So Shawnee helped me bend this one up to the same profile as what he did the other side. It's got the kick on the back, everything's really matching up nicely. We put them side by side and um, they're looking really good. So this one pretty much just has to have the mounts welded on, tack welded on. Um, the tubes between the mounts and the bar itself and we need a few more notch tubes to go into these sections so I'm probably going to cut them up today as well, do some notching and some angles to fit into there. So it's all coming together in other words. <laughs> so these are the other sides that I've made, pretty much the direct mirror image of the ones that I made for the driver's side because the chassis itself is relatively similar side to side. There is a fuel tank on the passenger side though which gets right in the way of some of the bolts and everything so I'm going to have to figure out how to get a nut onto that side. I'm not sure I'm going to do it yet but I'm going to play around with that today. So that's a bit of an update as to where it's at. Gonna go ahead and start putting these mounts on like I did the other side of the car and just start piecing this thing together. Bracket, Amy's freshly, freshly notched you, ready to roll and a bolt. Shit's coming together. Amy's gearing up to do some welding. <laughs> Looks like you're not wearing any pants. I promise I'm wearing <laughs> you got pants. a welding shirt on. Pretty tight for room under there. Amy has only done welding on a bench. <laughs> At all <laughs> on a flat bench. So yeah, this one's a bit more difficult. We've got the MIG out. We're gonna uh, yeah, stick some things together. Thing. Yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah, if you need to stabilize the gun, oh, the, the gun with your other hand, go for it. <laughs> go Amy, go! <laughs> They just pull the trigger and just um, a little bit and then turn it off. So a couple of seconds. That's perfect. Just, yeah, go a little bit longer. Holy smokes, you did it. Did I get in the right spot? Right spot. I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> you did it. Do you want to try and do the other side? No. <laughs> Nice work, Ames. The helmet was too big, it didn't stay on. So there is a tight spot to get to on the passenger side of the vehicle, right next to the fuel tank. It's pretty much hugging the chassis rail. So I've got my plate here, the inside plate, and I've just welded a nut onto it there. And I've had to put it into the mill. So I can mill, deck it down a little bit, the top of the nut, because it was sitting just a little bit too high to get in between the tank and the chassis rail. Now, now I've done that, the plate just goes in nice and easy. I'll tack that one into place and that'll be the whole passenger side done. Fuck! <laughs> Bloop is real. I feel like I'm in a coffin. Ah! Now we're good. So things have happened. Things have happened and stuff. Whoa, one side on. The other side's on. <laughs> oh boy, got all the clearances looking good. What are we gonna do, Holmes? We have to finish welding. Finish welding? Clean it up. Yep. Cap the end. Yep. Powder coat it. And send it. And send it. Straighten some rocks. Is are we going, are we going to be able to not, slide over rocks? Yes, we are. So we're going to literally be able to slide yes. over rocks. Without damaging the car. With our rock sliders. With our rock sliders. So these are the gusset plates that I've made to go on the slider. Let's go and have a look how they're going to go on. So that's the slider brace there to the chassis mount. And the plate will go on something a little like that. I'm freaking stoked. They're looking awesome. Time to weld these bad boys up, Ames. Hey, boy. Wow. 
welding is about to commence. <laughs> so I've done everything that I need to to weld up the sliders. They are complete. There is a few changes that have happened. And as you guys know, there was a bit of overhang because I couldn't get the chassis mounts any further out because of the way the chassis is shaped and what is in the way of everything. So I've added on these notch tubes to try and help with the rigidity. Uh, and it's definitely done that. It's definitely helped out a lot. Although there wasn't a lot of movement when I did the step test without them, it's going to only help with the structural integrity of this slider. So I added them on, they're done. When I weld this up, I'm going to use the MIG welder to do this job, this big beast. Now, the aim of the game is to not try and get too much heat into whatever you're welding like this, because it will warp. If you try and put a lot of heat in one area, it will end up warping. And obviously this is made to suit a fitment. So I don't want to do that. So I'm basically going to do um, welding up this end, then I'm going to swap over to this end, and so on and so forth, and just work my way up and down the slider when I do this. <sighs> well, that's a lot of information, information overload, but I am going to go and get stuck into welding these up now, and that will be it. Then they'll be ready for powder coat, set off, send off a powder coat, and then fit up to the car. Pretty happy with how they come up. This looks really good, guys.